this now becomes a ball game. Best thing that could have happened to Quinnipiac on that last possession was Rich Kelly getting the back. Because they're going to be able to put their best free throw on the line to get an opportunity to get two points. Quinnipiac hasn't scored in a while. Each team with 17 fouls, so in the bonus situation, Rich Kelly, 16 points, five assists, three rebounds, and two steals. He has one more. Came into the game needing 101 points to reach 1,000 for his career, now within striking distance over the next handful of games. Things. First action of the second half. Three from the corner. No. Marfo had it in his hands. It was batted away. Kelly in the front court. Yeah, really good job with a team rebound that time by Kelly. Need five guys to rebound because it put two bodies on Marfo going for the board. So you got to be in a position where some other players are able to get a rebound. 12 point advantage. A technical free throw. Ryder got it to 10. Well, the early baseball coach called it the iron lung on the bus. And come away with it. Approaching six minutes to go, Kelly bumped into by Tyree Randall. And Kelly will go to the line for a one and one. And this is where something that the uh, all the college basketball, and now you're talking about quarterback, up 10 with six minutes to go. How are you going to play off of this? That becomes a big question mark throughout college basketball. Like, do you protect the lead? Do you continue to play carefree? And do, you, do you become careful with the ball? And I think it's a big question throughout all of basketball. And it has a lot to do with how the kids are brought up playing basketball with AAU. There's not a lot of that high school coaching where there's great mentors, where you're teaching time and score with these kids coming in. Kelly, a rare miss at the free throw line. Late violation by Rando, so Kelly will have another chance for the front end of a one and one. That's a terrible rule, lane violation. You should just get rid of it. It doesn't have anything to do with the game. Somehow change the rule. But you don't think they get an advantage if they're getting in just a second earlier? Tenth of a second? No. A second, I give you yes if it's blatant. But to give a guy another chance to make them from 15 feet, I think it penalizes the defense. The kids aren't learning time and score growing up like we used to when we played, right? With high school coaches where they're teaching you the game. Kids are just playing, and I think the six, five-minute mark becomes an uncomfortable point. 65-53. Kelly, now 20 for the game. Another 20-point performance, his fifth of the season. Scott against McGuire.